Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with quick hits. Um, we're going to get into this Tia Fimo performance. I've been out of town the last couple of days, but I haven't done a show, but we're going to get into Tia Fimo. We are going to get into Tia Fimo. Uh, good performance. We're going to get into it. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, uh, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, All proceeds from Texas Boxing Scene go to autism research and recovery. Uh, Let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. TV Lopez gave a great performance, really good performance. I picked uh, Taylor. I, I had T.O. winning, uh, what was it, uh, 117, 111. I had him on my card. I had him dominating uh, pretty much from the fourth round on, which I think most people had. I, I, I gave um, Taylor one round. It was 10, so I gave Taylor the first, the third, and the tenth. Um, mm-hmm. I gave every other round. And from the fourth to the twelfth, dominant, clear-cut rounds from, from T.O. Um, you saw some of the explosiveness. You saw him having fun in there again. You saw a lot of good things out of T.F. Lopez. The, the boxing community is so fickle. I, I mean, this is – he's pound for pound again, right? TFE was the GOAT now. TFE was everything we thought he was three years ago when he beat uh, Lomachenko in 2020. He's back to that guy. He's the future. He's the takeover. Because two days ago, he was a bum. Two days ago, he was shot. Two days ago <laughs> – two days ago, he was – forget about 48 hours ago. TFE Lopez w- w- was over it. He's, he was never was. He's never has been. He was past. He's never getting it back, right? He lost it. He ain't got it no more. That was two days ago. Now he gives this great performance. That was a really, really good performance. Really, really good performance. Now he's the best 140-pounder in the world, right? But Josh Taylor was a bum too, right? He lost to Catterall. He's no good. And then TFEMO beats him, and, and TFEMO is the GOAT again. <laughs> it, it's just getting ridiculous with fighting. Look, TFEMO Lopez. I picked him to lose. I, I thought that Taylor lost to Cattle was just a bad day for Taylor. I, I know he won. I, I understand he won. Um, I, I thought it was a rough day for Cattle. I mean, a rough day for Taylor. I, I thought he'd bounce back. I thought he looked sharp again. I thought we'd see the one that, you know, fought Regis pro great life and death. That got a decision over Regis that he probably deserved the one that uh, beat up Ramirez, right? That guy. I thought we were going to see that guy again. We didn't. You know, he, this tale wasn't as bad as the one we saw against Catterall, so that was a bad day, but he's not back to what he was. And he's probably not going to get back. Um, I, 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 We'll see him go to 47. I think he'll do well at 47. I, I like to see how he does. I'd like to see him go in WBO and, and fight Virgil Ortiz. Get right into it. Fight, you know, yeah, I think that's makeable with WBO. Well, now he can't because he lost his belt. Nah, rats. Um Yeah, I'm trying to make a fight for him. You know, the top rank don't have no top really 140 guy, 147 guys. Now that Crawford's gone, um, who can he fight? Who can who, who, who can he fight? You know, it, 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 is a Conor Ben fight realistic? Michael McKinson, something like that. Can we do something like that. That's a decent fight, right? Um. Uh, you know, I, I don't think Taylor shot. I just don't think he's going to get back to where he was in that pro program fight. I, 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 I want to keep pro grade fights this weekend, and I want to get into that. Uh, pro grade would destroy Tiafimo. He'd beat him on the inside. He'd beat him from the outside. He'd outbox him. He could beat him. He'd slip him shots. He'd make him miss, right? Tiafimo still, I've always said this, even when he was blowing dudes out, he's so easy to hit. He's so aggressive. You can sit in the pocket. And counter him. He's there to be hit. 
right? Like you got to get inside him, and you can you can nail him with a right hand when, when he throws that left hook. Like I'm picturing right in my head right now, just sit in there, short right hand, crack him with it, right? Like, but you, you got to get his timing down, right? And it's dangerous because he's, he is so explosive. And I like Tifimo Lopez. I, I, I just think a master like Regis is, is going to be able to beat him. Um, what was interesting with Tiafimo Lopez, you know, I, I don't know if anyone else at 140 could beat him. You know, the Matias fight would be, that would be sensational. All offense, no defense. That would be an amazing fight. Um, you know, he would obviously write the, Tio would wipe the floor with guys like um, Ryan Garcia or Rolly. He'd beat those guys. Although Ryan would be a good fighter. Let me, we ain't getting that. Um, and then Devin Haney would obviously beat Tifimo as well. Uh, but I, I think uh, if, if Haney goes to 140, I think Haney would, would beat Tifimo. Um, look, Tifimo is it, it, not as good as he's being portrayed right now and he's not as bad as he was portrayed two days ago right like he, he he's good he's explosive he's got flaws he can be outboxed he can be had right like um if you got a master counter puncher you can get in there you can control him with his jab you, you got to be patient with him right you, you got to pick your shots with him you got to use your jab with him but he can be had um and uh, you know it, Tim Bradley, top rank guy, top ranks guy, was saying that you know these top guys at 140 would have their way with them, that he'd be food for all of them. You know, I really think the only guys right now, the only guy at 140 who's at 140 right now that would beat him is, is Regis. And if Haney goes to 140, Haney would beat him too. Um, just kind of my thoughts on that. At one four, sorry about that. At one forty, but just to watch the boxing world flip flop on this guy, you go from one end to the other, back to the you know, back to the other one. It's back and forth. Like, you know, do you have Teal in your top ten? I didn't have Josh Taylor in my pound for pound because he lost to Catterall, so I took him out. Um, did you guys have, put Teal back in the list? Is he in your list? Do oh, you think he's the best one hundred forty pound in the world? If he's not, like, where are you now on Regis? And how much did that performance against Josh Taylor change your mind? Right, because if you thought Regis was the best 140 in the world, like most people did, and if so, if he's won, and 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 and, and uh, Tio beats Taylor, how does that then put him ahead of, of, of Regis? Right, because it's the same guy that lost to Sandra Martin. Just put it out there. It's the same guy that wasn't that long ago. Now, I know he's going through a lot. He's had issues and, and this and that, but this is the same guy that lost to Sandra Martin. That lost to Cambosis. The same dude. Same guy that lost to Cinder Martin at 140. Yes. And I'm saying he lost. Just like I'm saying Taylor lost to Catterall because he did. So, I mean, uh, you beat Taylor, you lose to Sandra Martin. That's better than Regis Progray. If Regis Progray for um, T.O. right now, Progray beats him. Easy. Uh, beats him wide. I don't say easy. T.O.'s a good fight. He beats him wide. Wins a clear-cut decision against him. Um... Yeah, you know, it's just crazy to watch the boxing world flip flop on this guy. I mean, it really is insane. Let me know what y'all think. Um, what, what's your thoughts on 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 Tio his performance? Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Three D Boxing, Three D Boxing Vlog, on all forms social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, it is June twelfth, now twenty twenty three, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.